Tommy Fury beat Jake Paul. Yep, if you stayed up last night to watch it, Tommy Fury beat Jake Paul by split decision. Um, you know what? I thought Tommy won the fight. I probably agree with the last two judges there. Um, I think Tommy bossed the fight. I mean, the two sort of point deductions evened themselves out, even though I thought the referee was ridiculous in his point deductions. I couldn't see where Tommy's came from. Um, you know, I just thought the referee wanted to be part of the show. <laughs> with that respect. Um, and then the lockdown in the last round was uh, they just exchanged jabs. Um, Jake's was a little bit stiffer and uh, sort of put Tommy off balance on his on his bottom. Didn't even hurt him, just bounced back straight up again. But it was a legitimate knockdown, I have to say. But I agree with the decision. Tommy beat him, I think. The jab was key for Tommy. I think he landed the better shots. I think other than the knockdown and maybe the left hook in the third or fourth round from Jake Paul, he never really done much. Um, Jake Paul but if you just with the eye test just look at the fight I think Tommy was the busier fighter landed the jab landed a couple of flurries pushing Jake back um, yeah so I think all in all the right man won but it is what it is you know what I mean it's two two novice boxers headlining um, a pay-per-view fight an eight-round fight I mean Unheard of. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, and uh, you know what? I'm a I'm a boxing diehard. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, and I, I just think that there's a lane for it. Do you know what I mean? I think that Tommy probably can, if he wants to do it, he can stay in this influencer stuff and fight the KSIs and all these guys and make a ton of money. Like, Because if he does want to go a traditional route, and become a British champion in the actual professional sense of it, he ain't going to make that much money. There's no way he's going to... He's, you know what I mean? He's still a novice. He's still learning his craft. He's only 23 years old. Um, so it's up to Tommy what he wants to do. If he wants to go aim for the stars and get that world title, if he can get there, that is, um, go down that traditional route of an English title, British title, European title, whatnot, for like absolutely buttons compared to what he's going to get if he does fight like a KSI or a Jake Paul rematch. Um, I mean, there's two lanes to it. There is that professional lane or is that that influencer lane? And it seems like the influencer lane right now is the one that's generating a lot of money. It's got a lot of eyes on it. It's got all the, the influencers, followers coming to fights. And even though it's bringing more eyes to boxing, I just feel like um, it has to stay in its own lane. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the fight before the Jake Paul and Tommy Fury fight was uh, Mukabu and... Badu Jack, Badu Jack's now a three-time, three-weight world champion, which is good to him, and a great fight, great fight, um, with knockdowns and, you know what I mean, trading blows and stuff like that, I mean, you're going back to the, the Paul Fury fight, it, it is what it is, you've got two novice guys, two young kids, starting out boxing, I think Jake Paul's been boxing for three, four years, Tommy's had very limited amateur experience, uh, and only his ninth professional fight, and I think, Tommy had all the pressure on him in that fight. I mean, Jake Paul was, like I said, Disney kid, three three years in the game. Tommy's got that Fury name. Um, he is the boxer. This was Jake's, you need to fight a boxer type thing. And if you don't face a boxer, you're not, you're not fought against a real boxer. You've only fought MMA guys and celebrities and whatnot. So I think that the pressure was on Tommy, being that he was the boxer, being that it's been two and a half years in the making, being the he's got the Fury name. Um, and there was obviously talk of like disowning him and changing his name, Fury, to whatever, uh, changing his last name. So, I mean, all the pressure was on him. And I think you saw that at the end of the fight when he broke down in tears. I think all the pressure just sort of like, like a pressure cooker. Just went, and just, he was just like, ah, I've done it, which is fair play to him, man. And you can see how excited he was. He's just had a brand new baby. And uh, he's got a brand new belt for the for the little one to take home. To, to Molly and, and Bambi so fair play to him I mean the rematch clause is there I think Jake will want the rematch I think I think Tommy now knows how, how to beat Jake and if he stepped on the gas a little bit he could probably put it on him and Jake obviously probably knows what he where he done where he, where he went wrong so it's one of them ones like will it be a different fight in the rematch uh, who knows but like I said Tommy won the fight for me other than the, the flash knockdown at the eighth and maybe a left hook in the third or fourth, Jake didn't really do much in terms of pressuring Tommy or hurting Tommy or anything like that. So, And I think Tommy threw a couple of right uppercuts. He threw, uh, threw a beautiful jab. Um, 
a couple of flurries in behind it as well. So I think the 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 the, the right man won, and it was is what it is. Do you know what I mean? It's two novice fighters headline the pay per view card, which I've never seen before. Do I like it? And do you really care about my opinion if I like it or not? I mean, they're, they're making money. Uh, people are obviously interested in it because I don't know how many pay per views buys, but there was a lot of kids in the audience and uh, influencers. Mike Tyson was there, and Deontay Wilder was there, and Cristiano Ronaldo was there. So it's it's doing something right. It's uh, it's intriguing an audience. It's it's exciting an audience, whether it be pure boxing fans that love the pure art of the sport or the influencer side. Of it. That's what that's what I mean. There's two lanes here. Do you know what I mean? It's like you used to say amateur boxing and professional boxing is two different sports. I think it's the same with the influencer side of things. It's two different sports. Um, but for me, Tommy, I, I mean, he's got a choice to make. He can stay in this uh, influencer lane, make a ton of money for, for his, his his young family and Molly and, and whatnot, or he can do what his big brother did and go up that, chase that dream of becoming a world champion. Um, and it's his choice to make. Do you know what I mean? I think... Uh, I think he'll probably stick in the influencer game. I think well, that's where the money is. Do you know what I mean? And if anyone can get me a fight, um, I'll be more than happy. Listen, I don't want millions. Uh, 10, 20 grand will do me sweetly. I'll fight somebody. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what great fight last night. It, um, great fight in the sense that it had a big audience and it was it, it was intriguing to watch. Did it excite people? Did it have the drama and whatnot in the fight? Probably not. But listen, Tommy did what he had to do. He boxed smart, stayed behind the jab, on the back foot, trying to catch um, Jake coming in. So it is what it is. Let me know. Do you want to see the rematch?